you know, this man coming across right now, if you ever get the chance, if he ever offers you help and you get the chance to take it, take it, man. He's the nicest mate. Here you go. That's Don't him. That's him. That's Paul. Hello, Paul. Hi. Hi, mate. How are you? Bad. Haven't seen you for a while. Doing it's all right? Bad. Yeah, mate. He's, this is the man. He's not just this Salvation Army worker. He's a lot more than that. Yeah, he's more of a father figure to a lot of people. A father figure and a true friend. He's like my dad. <laughs> He's like my dad. He's like my best friend. It wasn't a privilege for Paul. I might not have a family at the moment. Very grateful for my family and all he's done. He's, we chose him for our godfather and um, yeah, he's been very supportive. And he's probably the strongest person around in my life at the moment. I'm a person I look to for advice. And, yeah. It's the people that you get in your life then, mate, who, who you bring around you. If you could only get into a, a different circle of friends, that would make a lot of difference. Paul, thank you very, very much for all your help that you've given us. And I have never met anyone with such a bigger heart as you, Paul. Seriously. And it, it's overwhelming. Just oh. I, it, it makes me speechless just thinking how big of a heart and I swear there can't be anyone else in the world like that man. As much as uh, we give him a hard time, he still managed to give us open arms. Um, he's taught us a lot, especially uh, forgiveness. Um, it's helped us find our parents again, reconcile. Uh, they, I, I suppose I owe my life to Paul and, and the Salvos, to tell you the truth.